I'm here with Karen and we're doing the interview at the yarn shop and um, I would like to ask you what motivated you to open this shop? Well, my partner Viva and I love to knit and we just decided it would be a fun thing to open a shop and we could have a place to knit and enjoy uh, ourselves and we could share knitting and crocheting with the community. So how does the shop benefit the community? Uh, it benefits the community by um, being open to all of those who want to learn to knit or who've already, who already knit, a place for them to buy their yarn, a place for them to come and knit and we have a lot of people who come in and spend the day with us, knitting, learning to knit, crocheting, and um, and we have a lot of people from the community coming in, so I think that's how it really goes to the community. Uh, if the shop would ever close down, who would it uh, affect? Well, it would affect um, a lot of the knitters, it would affect the, the people that they knit for, a lot of people knit for the Pregnancy Care Center and they knit for the Project Lioness and so there would be a lot of people that would be affected if we close it Okay, thank you for your time. So now we're with Lisa and she's the other owner of the shop. Uh, I would like to ask you what makes the yarn here different from the ones in different stores? Well, we carry high-end yarn, and which means that the products you're going to end up with are going to generally be better products. Uh, they're nicer to knit with, and they're going to last longer. Um, I think it's just two different markets. The other shops that we would compete with are all for 100 miles away, so we kind of have a nice little market here all by ourselves. And besides the yarn, what, what else do you sell? We carry patterns and needles and um, all the accoutrements one needs to knit with or, and or crochet. The main thing we have is a lot of knitting support for people and crochet support. If they need help, we're here six days a week to help. Yeah, um, do you get like a lot of customers? How, like about how many customers do you get? Oh, I think we generally have probably 5,000 customer base, but we don't see them, some of them for maybe once every two years, some we see every other day. So it's hard saying some days we have five people in here and sometimes we have 40 people during the day. Depends on who's driving through and who's doing what, whether it's raining. Bye.